I'm Taria and I'm working as the pastor for Living Water MCC in Helsinki. In my work, I try to be available for people. I try to meet people in different places. For instance, um, I stay for a couple of hours every Monday in one of the gay cafes in Helsinki. And um, it's been a very valuable place to meet people um, that have been seeking for somebody to talk to about spiritual things. And um, I've also made contact with people that didn't even know about us. Just because they came to the cafe, they start talking and uh, have met some very wonderful people there. And the discussion is always very hectic. And uh, I also um, help in Polkari, which is a, an open living room in, in one of the malls in Helsinki, where we work together with um, several other organizations like um, Syria, Finland, uh, Association, um, Congregation of Pavali is St. Paul's in, in, in Helsinki and uh, uh, also some organizations that are working with refugees and that kind of stuff. And I stay there each week for a couple of hours just to be there, to be seen, to be available for talks and discussions and to keep the place open since it's always kept open by volunteers. And there are places where children can play and parents can come with their children, meet other people. Um, it's for pensioners and working people, unemployed and who, who not. And uh, otherwise, I have found that it's, it's been quite important to be available for different kind of people. Um, for, for instance, we have formed some kind of understanding with um, local sexual equality that it has been advocating for uh, human rights for sexual and um, gender minorities for decades. And we have sort of understanding that uh, when they have refugees that are Christian and homosexual, they know to um, advise them to call me and uh, have talks. And uh, it's been quite a new way of contacting people. Because I can't go to the refugee centers and start talking about homosexuality. It doesn't work. Because uh, a lot of the countries where people are coming, it's illegal to be homosexual. And often also the ones that are Christian refugees, they are very shy and very uncertain if, if, if it's possible to be Christian and homosexual at the same time. Well, here's a few of the things that I, I came to think of when I started talking about this and I well I think that you can ask about more information and we can continue sending video messages over the pond and um, I wish you all the best for this coming spring and hope that you don't have a lot of snow either uh, as we are starting Lent we are doing a generosity um, campaign during Lent called 40 Acts and um, it would be lovely if you would uh, follow our uh, Twitter feed because we will be uh, setting up messages for each of the 40 days before Easter. Okay, have, have a blessed uh, time of Lent and talk to you soon.